the government is stepping up efforts to encourage Singaporeans to reduce packaging waste and recycle more single-use plastics. Along with an upcoming charge for disposable carrier bags, there will also be educational campaigns and a beverage container return scheme to get more people to start recycling at home. Marcus Tan tells us more. The idea to charge for disposable carrier bags can be traced back to a survey two years ago. The National Environment Agency found that a majority of residents agree they could use fewer plastic bags. Many also believe a mandatory charge will help reduce usage of such bags. So, from July, major supermarket chains will start charging shoppers at least five cents for each disposable carrier bag. About two-thirds of Singapore's supermarket outlets will be introducing the charge. Still, concerns remain that operators could profit from it. For transparency and accountability, supermarket operators will be required to publish information on the number of bags issued, the amount of proceeds collected and how the proceeds are used. A beverage return scheme also hopes to get more consumers to return their plastic and metal beverage containers for recycling. NEA has set a target of 80% returns annually. That's about 800 million bottles and cans. And instead of a blue bin, households can now get their very own recycling blue box. Members will be heartened to learn that all households can collect a blue box from vending machines deployed island-wide later this month to set up a recycling corner. It's a blue box. The government hopes that these initiatives will see more Singaporeans adopt sustainable practices in their daily routines in the drive towards zero waste.